Let's talk crochet. Hey folks, it's Mary, aka Mercy Triumphs, and this is Slow Crochet. This is episode 070, and it is my weekly check-in podcast on all of the things that I have been crocheting this week, any new projects, any progress, things of that nature. So let me get right into it. I do want to say I have started a new project, and indeed it is Crystal over at Bag O'Day Crochet. It's her shawl along. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to keep up, but as of this week, I have kept up um, and I am going to be kind of making a dedicated video, hopefully kind of detailing that process. But here is rows one through 12 so far. I know this looks really dark, really black right now, um, but the yarn that I'm using does kind of have a darker tone to it. It's kind of jewel toned. And I don't know if you can see, it actually does have some silver sparkle running through it. I am using a sport weight yarn. It is a Barocco Millie Fury Light, and I picked it up at a local yarn store that I'll have to go into more detail about. This yarn shop is outside of Nashville, but I wanted to go check it out, and I'll have to do a dedicated video to it in the future just because it was so sweet and so charming. But yes, um, Crystal calls for a DK weight yarn. I am using a sport weight yarn but it is roving style. Yeah, but I think that it's gonna work up just beautifully, even though it's a slightly smaller scale of yarn. I'm also using a size I hook, a 5.5 millimeter. It is my only hero hook other than a few Afghan hooks. So I'm kind of doing this in honor of Crystal. I'm stepping outside of my normal. Normally wouldn't go for something sparkly. Normally wouldn't use a roving yarn. Normally wouldn't even use a hero hook because believe it or not, as many people love these hooks, my favorites are more the vintage boy hooks than the vintage heroes. So glad to have it. Glad to honor her with that process. Here is the rest of the yarn is kind of colors outside of my norm, but still quite beautiful. And I'll, again, I'll show these off a little bit more when I do a whole video, hopefully dedicated to the whole shawl along process. But yes, I am participating. That's a start. And I think I'm going to be trying to keep up on Instagram a little bit with my process there. So if you're interested in that, you can check me out there. Link to my Instagram is in the description. Now, I did not want to start a shawl without finishing a, a shawl. So sure enough, I <laughs> did my best and I finished my cis shawl. And here it is. I'll, I'll hold it out here, but I'll also drop in some footage of me modeling it. But I wanted you to be able to see all the colors playing out. I did get into the pale blue finally from this cake, but yes, it moves from the navy into that pale blue. And I still have a little bit more of this left. I was playing yarn chicken, and at the end, you're only supposed to kind of do the finishing rows on cer at certain points in your kind of 12 row repeat. So I did my best to get a little bit of the solid palest blue, but I could have gone maybe one or two more rows if I didn't have to stop because of where the pattern kind of called for. So I could have kept going, but I decided to kind of fudge it instead and just get the littlest bit of that pale blue. In terms of how do I like it as a shawl, well, first of all, it's super lightweight. This was um, Concentric Cotton by Haiku. It's 100% Pima cotton, 200 grams, 929 yards, and probably a sport weight. I have loved working with it. It is super soft and it's going to be great in the summer months. I feel like it's going to be just right for even wadding up. I mean, I know often you don't want to take shawls and like wad them up like this. That seems kind of disrespectful to the amount of stitches and work you put into it, but you really can with this shawl. It doesn't have to be a warm one. It's so drapey and wonderful. It feels so good against your skin that I feel like it's gonna be great. This is kind of too nice to be a swimsuit cover up, but I think it'll be just great when I don't want to constantly be spraying myself in sunscreen, so I just wanna keep my shoulders covered. This will be wonderful for that. So love how it turned out. So thankful that I was able to pick up this cake from my local thrift store because this thing originally retailed at $37.50 and I got it for well, well below that. So happy, happy days, glad to have that done. And also I really did like the pattern. Um, I can see why it's so popular and I don't know if I'll do it again anytime in the near future, but very beautiful, 
very effective and yeah, wonderful. So if you haven't looked into the cis shawl, don't be intimidated. Even though it says it's a 12 row repeat, mostly it's more or less a six row. You can get into a really nice rhythm with it, especially as the rows get longer and it'll feel really good. You know, there's some rows in here that are just straight double crochets across. So it breaks up the more detailed rows with a little bit more of that relaxing, just chill mindlessness. So happy days to have that done. So yeah, yes, only one shawl on the hook at a time. That brings me to current works in progress, things I'm still working on. One of the things that I started last week was the Seafarer's cap. And this is my keep it in my purse project. And so I'm working back and forth in rows. And here we have how far we've come. So I still have a bit more on the ball, but uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty quickly. This has been great for me to have on hand when I'm sitting in a meeting, something like that. And it's not so cumbersome that I can't carry it with me. So yay, progress there. Another work in progress I have, I was trying to decide what to do with my cute little daisy granny squares. And I did decide to do a kind of square-ish bag. So what I've done is I've just stitched them all together. I used a total of 14 of them. So four on the front, four on the back, and then another six around the edges. I did do a couple of rows of single crochet across the top, and then I made an I-cord to cinch it up. So the only thing that I want to do now is I probably do wanna put in a liner for it, like a, a solid woven fabric liner, but I'm also gonna do a couple of backpack straps. I can either use the brown, I have plenty of that, um, or I might try to get by with some of this cream or white. Maybe I'll do the brown just because I know I'll have that enough to make those straps. And then I'll probably wanna do kind of a little hook at the top. There is an inspiration that I'm taking slightly from a yarn inspirations pattern. It's not this exactly, but I can have that linked below just to give a sense of where I'm headed. I do have one more of these left that I've made, so I'm not sure that I'm gonna put it over the top or not. And once it's cinched up, you know, it does kind of does kind of pull in some, so I suppose you could have that over the top, but I don't really know that that's necessary. I'll wait and kind of get the straps done and like the hanging hook, and then we'll see. But for now, happy with where this is, and yeah, hopefully this will be a finished object pretty soon. My last big work in progress is my up and down pullover, and y'all, I have two sleeves. I do, <laughs> I do have both of my sleeves on and they match and I haven't finished with weaving in the ends here. And I will tell you what, I am not sure that I even need these cuffs. I'm thinking I might come back and undo these cuffs and redo them and just make them maybe three stitches wide. I, I've already come down quite a bit from the pattern recommendation. I think it had like a 12 stitch width on the cuff and I've done eight. But when I put it on, it's just, <laughs> it's just a bit long for my hands. Whenever I'm wearing something long sleeve, I usually like to have it pushed up. I don't like three quarter length sleeves. I actually like to have to like the ability to push things up. I don't know what that is. It's just like my forearms need to be free to do what they need to do, I guess. But uh, this sweater is gonna be one to be really cozy in, so I don't want it to be so long that it's covering up my hands. So yeah, I'm thinking that I'll have to modify these cuffs a little bit, but in the meantime, I am working on the ribbing at the bottom, and then all I'll have to do is the ribbing up at the top. Now this is pretty wide, so I'm gonna have to do at least that width of ribbing, at least like eight stitches of ribbing at the top, just to make it modest. Cause right now <laughs> it's almost off the shoulder and it does go quite deep. So yes, I can imagine wearing this under like a polo shirt or a button up shirt. Um, but I also want to be able to wear this just as it is with like a tank top or something underneath it. So I wanna make sure that whatever I add to it, it's gonna make it something that I enjoy wearing. I'm gonna have to take my own advice and try this on multiple times, but hopefully that'll be done pretty soon. I think the bottom ribbing is gonna be just right because it adds just enough length so that it'll hit so I can either tuck it in or not. It's doing good things for my proportions at this 
at this height. I would be surprised if I don't get this finish this week. I'm hoping I will, because again, sports season, practices, games where my children aren't necessarily playing, they're just sitting on the field, I can work on this. Or just that interim time in between games. There's a lot of time that I can knock out these last few details. And this does go really quickly. You get into a rhythm with it and you're just doing single crochets in the back loops only and then slip stitching to the edges. I actually do love how this pattern is turning out. I'm excited to be done with it because then I have more sweaters that I wanna make. <laughs> So that is all that I have going right now in crochet. Some things I want to finish, some things that uh, I'll keep working on over time. Again, I'm excited about Crystal's shawl along. And yeah, I'm excited about some other things I'm participating in, some other pieces that I want to grab from. It feels so good to have things that I'm enjoying working on. I do want to ask you a couple of questions. Number one, are you participating in the shawl along with Crystal over at Bag Day Crochet? Number two, thank you to everyone who gave me their opinion on what to do with these granny squares. Thank, there were a lot of people that said backpacks. I thought, okay, you're, you're feeling what I'm feeling. We're gonna go with that. So thank you to those folks. Thank you to everyone who is along with me on this YouTube adventure for liking and sharing and subscribing. It is such a joy. It is such an honor to be part of your lives. And I really appreciate your support of this channel, just in the little bits and pieces and the interactions and the fun stuff. So thank you for being part of my life. I really appreciate you. And if I'm not your cup of tea, thank you so much for listening this long. I appreciate you too. And I do hope I will see you again soon. Bye.